Hi guys, it's Billy VK once again, and I'll be doing a quick video on the GTX 1070 Mini ITX OC by Gigabyte. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've received one or two questions about how it actually performs. Now, when I got this GPU in August last year, um, I put up a video of my build, but I really didn't have a lot of experience with it uh, I really didn't do a lot of tests on it at that time but um, it, this is my first NVIDIA product I've always used AMD so I just needed time to get the grips with how it performed and it's and how to overclock and all that kind of stuff so I've never really come around to do a video on its actual performance although I've done quite a few on some gameplay and all that kind of stuff but today i'll be testing it not so much how many how much frames per second you're gonna get come on everyone knows a gtx 1070 will thrash out 1080p and will perform very well at 1440p there are so many um websites with benchmarks that tell you how the gtx 1070 performs is a great card so i'm not really going into how many fps this can do what i'll be looking at today really is this particular card's performance in terms of how well it keeps its clock speed um what the max temperature is what the maximum fan um speed is and um just this, those are the three parameters I'll be looking at today, really. So what I'll be using today is basically using 3D Mark Fire Strike. Um, we'll be monitoring the clock speed and fan speed using MSI Afterburner. So you can see, I don't know if the cursor is appearing here on the screen. You can see just right at the top if it's showing maybe not okay so i think i'll need to launch 3d mark fire strike before msi afterburner will have those um statistics or that information on the top right hand top left hand corner sorry so just a quick one i'll be using 3d mark fire strike and I'll be using a custom preset and this custom preset I'll be taking off the demo turn off the demo turn off graphic card uh, graphic card graphics test one physics test and the combined test I'll run it in a loop and I'll have it in windowed mode 1080p so I can have access to other windows so this test is at 1080p so while this, I'll just quickly run that now. And hopefully this should come up on the screen. If I did it correctly. I hope I did it correctly so it pops up on top. Or just behind MSI, burn, MSI Afterburner and I think, yeah, okay, so that's cool. Uh, maybe I'll just rearrange this window as well so I get this window out of the way. Let's pop it down here. Or maybe in the corner right there. Okay. So, what's going to happen now is I'm going to run this test. Obviously, it's only just launched. So, whilst it's sort of like getting its temperature up to sort of like a normalized um, temperature um, I'll just run through the settings I've used for the GTX Gigabyte GTX 1070 Mini ITX OC uh, that's a mouthful I know but we can see here the core voltage is set to 10 um, let's just pull that up if I can find it it's decided to disappear I'll fish it out in a minute. Oh, here we go. Okay, so 
to straight away, we can actually see that the core voltage has been lifted up by 10%. The power limit has been cranked up to 12% by 12%. Temperature limit has been increased to 92 degrees Celsius. On the core clocks, they have added 147 megabyte, uh, megabytes, megahertz, and the memory clock, I've only put 100 megahertz. The fan speed there, we can see is set to auto, and it's about 67%. Now, 67% is running at about 2,200 RPM, as you can see from here. Uh, we can see the clock speeds here are sticking, though, sticking to 20, 25 volts obviously temperatures are quite low so what i'll do is i'll let this run for a bit and then i'll come back again once the temperatures have sort of stabilized so we've had this running for about 10 minutes we can see there at the bottom of the screen we can see there is about 37,000 frames done. I'll say an average of say 60 frames per second. You can see also is is in a continuous loop. So with that in mind, you know we can tell I've been running for about 10 minutes. This is the fine profile I'm using, as you can see within the Gigabyte overclocking software, uh, which is called Gigabyte Extreme, and it's been you can tell it just poorly designed with all that purple stuff around the corner it just can't be gotten rid of but you can see fan speed there a uh, fan curve that i've used which is a, a a custom one which i've used so once it it hits you know the high temperatures there it starts ramping up as and when needed and just comparing this to comparing this to the default setups there if you check that out that's turbo you can see turbo is somewhere there auto is that silence is that um, but I've used mine here which is you know not far off from the turbo settings so I've used my own fan curve there and we can see temperatures I'll just close that down because I don't really need that one anymore And we can see the case here as well. That is the case I use is a Silverstone FT03 Mini Black. It's a small case. Just to give you a bit of a perspective there, I've got my DS4 controller and we can see just how using that as we're looking like about, you know, really small case there com comparing it with um, my ds4 controller i'll just leave that here so it can be used as some sort of reference so you can see that it's a really small case and obviously we can see that everything is running as normal okay um i think i really don't need that there anymore the capture device I can take that out. So we'll just come back down to MSI Afterburner and see what information we can find on there. So I can see the clock speeds are hovering around 2000 megahertz, about two gig gigahertz, um, picking at 2025. And we can also see the temperatures there is actually peaked at 68 degrees. And if you also see the um, RPM there, the, the fan speed, we're looking at 2,500 RPM. Now, don't get me wrong, it is audible, very audible. Um, however, if you're gaming with a headset, it really doesn't, you wouldn't really notice it at all. Um, or if you've got your gaming volume up, you wouldn't hear it. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, really be disturbing or anything um and it only and it only ramps up this high when playing video games if you're watching a video or something like that you it wouldn't even turn on because it's got um, zero rpm mode which doesn't kick in till it hits about i think um 60 60 degrees or thereabouts 
So it's a really good graphic card. Um, a, a few questions, like I said, have been raised as to what the performance has been like. And I like it. I like the card. It's, it suits my needs. You know, I'm, I've built in a mini ITX case, which only has one 120 millimeter fan at the bottom of the case. That's the only cooling this case gets. And we can see the temperatures there peaking out at 70 or degrees. Now, for that size, I'll say that's very good, you know. Um, but I'll have to stress, you have to be able to give this card some good cool air for it to stick to those temperatures. Um, if you cannot supply it with good, fresh, cooler air, then you see this card peaking out about 75 degrees C, 80 degrees C easily. It will perform close to the Founders Edition, but bear in mind that this is overclocked. Um, as you can see, hitting two gigahertz easily. Um, but with the thing with Turbo Boost 3, which you get with NVIDIA, in NVIDIA cards is it will, you know, fluctuate. You know, it, um, is, that's what it does. Um, I would imagine if you went water cooling, you know, and kept this thing, say, around 50 or degrees, it probably would stick doggedly above 2 gigahertz. So if you're looking at, you know, running this card at, at above 2 gigahertz and sticking there, you, you probably have to think about getting one with a dual fan, um, a much bigger heat sink and also you'd have to consider um, also water cooling if you want it to run extremely cooler but there's it guys um, short video on the GTX 1070 mini ITX OC by Gigabyte and um, hope you've learned some got something out of this hope you learned something out of this hope it's made you made it easier to decide whether you wish to go for this or not if you're looking at building your pc i'll say if you've got the room for a bigger card or a bigger gtx 1070 then you might as well just go for that if you're you know squeeze for space if you've got space constraints constraints then this is still a very good card and it wouldn't you know let you down it will perform very well well, thanks guys for watching and um, if you've got any more questions or anything you'd like to see please just drop me a message for some reason i'm not too sure why i do not get any notifications on um, when i you know i don't get any notifications from youtube when i receive messages however if i get your messages you know please be patient i will respond to them and uh, once i get round to how getting some sort of notification um but thanks guys for watching and um i'll catch you guys soon bye bye